Hi, I'm John, and this is the last one prize Majin Buu from Dragon Ball Z Omnibus Ultra Ichiban Kuji Lottery. Before I get started, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more reviews of all the different Dragon Ball figures that I'm adding to my own collection and my custom figure projects on the channel. And with that, let's unbox him. Wow, this thing is huge. Alrighty, here he is. This figure's original release was in 2022 as part of the Ichiban Kuji Lottery, and now the aftermarket price range for this can range anywhere from $200 to $350. My first impression of this thing, as soon as I took it out of the box, is that it's way bigger than I expected. And it's really heavy. The sculpt is really well done, and the figure looks lifted directly from the source material. The clothing folds are incredibly detailed with a ton of little scratches on the surface, adding a bunch of extra texture to the sculpt, and indicates that this was hand sculpted rather than digitally on a computer. There's even texture on his belt buckle, which paired with the shiny gold is a really nice accent for the figure. In contrast with the clothing, the skin has a smooth finish and is true to the gummy nature of the character. And the antenna is sculpted with a little swirl to the side, which adds a little whimsy to the sculpt. The line work on his face is very crisp and looks spot on in terms of his likeness. One small nitpick that I have with both the sculpt and the paint is that the holes just sort of seem like they've been poked in as a divot instead of having them being actual holes in the figure. I think that it would have been way more effective if they just punched the holes a little bit deeper and it would have been less likely to have some sloppy paint application. Speaking of the paint, aside from the holes, the paint and shading is really great on this figure too. There is shading all over the figure, especially prevalent on his skin and the vest. There is shading on the cape, gloves, and pants, but I wish it was just a little bit darker for more contrast, but that's just my opinion. The gold paint on both his vest and his belt is super bright and very shiny and has a nice warm tone, giving it that extra bit of accent that I love. The M printed on his belt is incredibly crisp too. The size, like I mentioned before, is way bigger than I expected, even after seeing so many pictures of this online. For some quick size comparisons, here is his partner in crime, Mr. Satan. Then here is an Ichiban Kuji Super Saiyan Goku, which I would consider an average size for a Master Lies figure. And here's the Master Lies Super Boo, which I already thought was too small, but now that I put it next to Majin Boo, it's definitely too small. Lastly, here's one for the SHF collectors to see what kind of size we're dealing with here. This Majin Boo is truly massive. Overall, this figure is 99.9% .9 perfect. And it being a great size, expertly sculpted, and well painted, it definitely adds a huge impact to my collection. It's a holy grail figure for a reason, and after waiting for this for two years, I can finally see why. And those are my thoughts on the figure. Let me know what yours are down in the comments. Of course, special thanks to my members. If you want to support the channel directly, I do have my YouTube membership for $2 a month. And while they are not a direct sponsor to this particular video, if you shop at CalcusToys.com, link in the description below, you can save 6% on your order by using my promo code john calcus at checkout. Or click on my Amazon storefront below and buy anything you want normally you would on Amazon. I'll get a small percentage of that from Amazon without costing you a penny. Check out my other figure reviews and my projects on the channel. And if you like this review, subscribe, drop a like, leave a comment, and hit the notification bell so you know when my next video is going to drop. Thanks for watching. See you next time.